Hi everyone and welcome to part 26 of my GTA San Andreas Special Vehicle Guide. Now this is a beast of a prize to obtain. It is the Comprehensive Proof Savannah. I rated this a 4.5 star difficulty because I don't think it quite justifies a 5 star difficulty, but it's still a massive quest to get this vehicle nevertheless. It is going to take a long time guys, I'm warning you. All we have to do now is get into Caesar's car. And what we have to do is drive all the way to the Los Santos bomb shop. Now the interesting thing with this vehicle is that it was obtainable in the high stakes low rider mission, but at that point it was only bulletproof, fireproof and explosion proof. So now we have a proper comprehensive proof one, which is a lot better in my opinion, and it's totally worth the difficulty factor. Yeah, the worst part about this is just the massive distance you have to drive all the way to Angel Pine from here. You can't afford to blow the car up, so you have to drive quite carefully, actually, and it can be frustrating. And we are finally near Angel Pine. I have to be so bloody careful not to blow this up right now, otherwise I'll probably want to kill myself. <laughs> so just drive into the red marker. Now for this part, what you need to do is you need to arm the bomb and then get into the red marker before the car explodes. It can be a bit fiddly to pull off, so just look very carefully how I do it. And make sure that you're completely ready before you do this, because if you've messed this bit up, you have to do all that tedious driving again, and it will get painful after a while, so definitely take your time and do it when you're ready. So I've just armed the bomb now, I've let Caesar get out of the way, and quickly just get into the red marker. Now as quickly as you possibly can, look at where the car is. I mean, yes, you can't actually see the car, in my example, but I'm looking at the car. You know, the game is registering that I'm actually looking at the car. So the blown up wreckage is not going to disappear. And all you have to do is just wait here and let the mission fail. Just don't move the camera at all, because it's in the perfect position right now. Yeah, I did cut a bit of time out of the video, but then again, it's just more and more waiting. Now, when the mission fails, quickly look at where the car is and it should still be there in this blown up state. If it isn't, then I'm really sorry, but you must have done something wrong, because it will always stay there if you did the procedure correctly. As you know, blown up vehicles don't vanish unless you kind of look away from them. Now here is the big part of the quest. You have to do an enormous push, and push the blown up wreckage all the way back to the nearest safe house garage. But the problem is, the nearest safe house garage is, as you guessed, the Doherty safe house garage. So you're going to have to do a very long push indeed. But it's not actually as alarming as it sounds because there are a few tricks that I do know about that can make this quest actually a lot easier than it sounds. But never fear, I'm going to show you the tricks now. The first trick you should know about is that you can always find a tanker quite easily in this area. Now you can find line runners as well but the tanker is the superior option. And with the tanker, what you want to do is you want to try and flip the car upside down. So this is trick number two, is get the car flipped upside down. Because then it's much easier to push. It will slide like butter now, instead of trying to be pushed across sandpaper. Because literally that is kind of the difference in terms of the feeling. car really moves very easily now. So when you've got the car flipped upside down, You'll notice that it just kind of stays upside down, that's what's really good, so it doesn't have a tendency to flip back on its wheels. But if it ever did flip back on its wheels, then you just push it upside down again. So now that I've flipped my car upside down and I've got a tanker, I'm going to gradually push this car all the way back to the dirty safe house garage, going the exact route that I showed you on the map. So we've got to get to that highway first, that's the first step. And this part is a little bit irritating as well, because you're kind of going up the hill. It's mainly flat after this, but you do get one more uphill section near the end. But it's not really too bad. This is probably one of the worst bits, because you've got a lot of traffic. Yeah, definitely take care not to push this over the edge, otherwise it's going to be really difficult to get it back again. As you can see, it's a really steep hill to the right of me right now. Ah, oh, I finally made it up that hill, so now it's downhill as you can see, which is a little bit nicer. You can go pretty quickly. So the main thing for now is just to follow this road. You will get to a turning point after this bridge. So now that I've crossed the bridge, I'm going to go left over the grass. Because not only are you cutting some of the road, 
and journey out of the way. You get no traffic on the grass, so the grass is a really nice shortcut. But it does have its dangers though. For example, falling into the sea would be catastrophic at this point. It'd be like the worst thing ever. So definitely take care, enjoy the view, enjoy the ride, and you'll get to the highway in no time. The highway is coming up just to the right, as you can see. This time, do not do the shortcut across the grass, because that really drove me nuts trying to get the car back up. This bit's a lot nicer, because the road's completely flat, and the traffic is moving in your direction on both lanes. It's like a godsend compared to the other part. But you will have to turn off at some point, but don't worry, I'll make it very clear where you have to get off the highway. So just take it easy, enjoy the ride, and watch the San Fierro skyline appear right before you. You should eventually see a bunch of roadworks, as you can see just in front of me. This indicates that the bridge ahead is closed, so just take the ramp to the right, and then you'll leave the highway. And all you have to do now is just push the car through a tunnel, but the tunnel is a little bit uphill, so it's the final push before the dirty safe house garage. You are almost there, guys. Don't give up now. Well, yes, there is actually another way. You can get the car directly off the highway by pushing it near the pain spray. You know, where the traffic cones are and stuff. But I find that route a little bit unreliable, but it's completely up to you, so you make up your mind what works best for you. But for me, personally, I'd always rather go this way. Because it doesn't really take that much longer, and it's not that much more effort anyway. Because if you do tip over your tanker because you decided to take a shortcut, well then, you're going to have a hard time later. So, it wins either way. I'd, I'd say it just depends what you want to do. Now we're getting to the dirty safe house garage, finally. Wow, that really took quite a long time. And it feels really good when you get this far. You still have the final step, which is to restore the vehicle in the garage without failure. And that's always easier said than done. So before you attempt this, just maybe have a breather, just have a break, just so you're not flustered. And then if, when you're ready, put the car near the door and just push it in like that. Yeah, you shouldn't have to jam the door open with another vehicle to obtain this car. But if you did it, guys, congratulations, you've just obtained your Comprehensive Proof Savannah. Now I'm just going to show the properties now. As you can see, it's fully damage proof, no dents at all. It is so much better than the original one, which was only bulletproof, fireproof, explosion proof. So this was definitely worth the effort. But anyway, I'm just going to get away from the cops so I can do a bit of testing. As you can see, bulletproofing, it doesn't have a fuel tank, so I can't just show you the quick way. But you can see that the bullets are barely doing anything to it. Right, fireproof testing time. Use the Molotov. Unfortunately, I don't have any explosives, because this is actually one of my old recordings. Thank you for watching.